Hello and welcome back to Triplicate, home of interesting electronics and today we're going to look at this which is according to the back assuming I can get the wire out of the way a multifunction thermostat timer switch OK, a bit of backstory. We sleep in the loft conversion here in our house and it doesn't have a radiator, it's not connected to the heating system and we need to keep warm during the night so we use this little electric heater which works OK and it has by way of controls an on off switch which gives you three levels min, medium and max uh, it has a thermostat to maintain the temperature where you like and it has a mechanical timer so it'll, we can just get it to turn on during the night which is what we want and the main problem with it is the thermostat which is a mechanical one and it turns on when it's too cold and off when it's too hot It's not calibrated and it's measuring the temperature of the heater, not the temperature of the room. So I got the plug-in timer to try and improve this. So I did have this working and used it all last winter in fact, uh, pretty successfully. It was doing the job but then towards the end of the winter into the spring it didn't seem to be actually turning the heater on. So at the time I just took it out and disconnected the heater because we don't use it in the, the spring, summer and early autumn anyway because the, the room's warm enough. So it's getting into autumn now and I guess it's time to check if it still works and do a bit of a tutorial again on how to program the thing because all I can remember about programming it is it's not intuitive to say the least. OK, now the first thing I remember is that it's got some batteries in the back which keep the thing running if you unplug it so it doesn't forget the settings and the time but since the display is blank sorry, no, it doesn't come back if I press any buttons so I'm guessing the batteries have died uh, so Let's change the batteries first and take this out, which, uh, da, look at that, that's broken, it's not the strongest bit of plastic ever, and it doesn't seem to want to, ah, right, so the tab's broken off, let us instead use a screwdriver, there we go, shears out, that takes two, whatever these are okay these out one two And we'll get and we'll get the multimeter and see how many volts we have across these. Okay, should we see if we have any more of those? Okay, we do. We have another packet. Mm, packaging of that. So let us place these two batteries with difficulty in here. 
put the cover back on and see... Oh! 108. Oh, okay, current 19. Anyway, it's up and running with fresh batteries in. So the first thing I want to do is find out if it will actually turn the mains on and off. So I need to go and find one or two bits to do that, so I'll bring you back. Okay, for test purposes, uh, I plugged it into a, a distribution board, so I can plug it in in the middle of the bench. I'm not trying to reach over the bench to work it. Uh, I've got a low energy bulb, because they're rather an old one. Um, and they get warm enough to warm something up, just so we know whether it's on or off. So that's plugged in here at the minute. I'm going to plug that in here. It's now off. Leave that there. And I've got an instruction manual, uh, which like the instruction manuals for most Chinese things, is not the easiest to understand. So, first up, shall we try and set the time? Okay, we're in, in clock mode. It says we're in clock mode. Push set mode for three seconds. Okay, troubleshooting problem. The LCD display is frozen and the buttons don't respond when you push them. Push reset button to reset the timer. So what I shall do is unplug it, take the batteries out and reset it that way. Okay, so this is as it's powered up. It's been powered up two minutes. CD's countdown mode. Why the off is flashing, I'll come to. So I want to set the time. So to set the time, I'm in clock mode and I press set for three seconds. Okay, doesn't always seem to want to go into set mode. I find if I press on and off, if I change the on-off state and then try it again, it will. So, it's come out of set mode automatically. Because I haven't done anything. And then it won't go back into set mode, but if I change that and then try it, it will. So, we can set the day, Tuesday, it's Tuesday. We'll stay in 24 hours. The hour is 14.20. Okay, so it's in countdown mode. What we might try and do is just get it to turn on for a couple of minutes so we can see whether the output's working or not ah so to change the actual mode it works in push and hold then so it says to program And it's got a lot of programs. Twenty programs, so now it's in random. Now it's in CD, and that's what we want. Set mode for approximately three seconds. And 
it's come out. After a fair bit of head scratching I figured out how to work the countdown mode so we can try it with that and I don't know is that supposed to turn it on and off? that's the trouble am I doing something wrong? or is it not working? okay well I'm pretty sure I can get the countdown mode to work so we go into the... no we don't sorry we don't we go into that and that no we don't oh we've got into clock set mode Right, so now we're in cooling programs for your air conditioning. Not a lot of use around here. Heating modes, which is the ones we want, and CD. Okay, I set it to 202 and no hours. We'll set it to one minute and two seconds. It turns on when we select it. So, let's see what happens. Right, so now if I press that button... It should come on, but it doesn't. Ha! Huh. Well, if we leave in a minute... And two seconds... Can't remember what time it was when it started. Ah, there we go, the CD has gone out. Oh, and it's turned on. So we've got that the wrong way around. Uh huh. So if we go back in here. Okay. Okay, so we've set it up, or I've set it up, as follows. Uh, there we go. So, we go back through the cool programs, back through the heat programs. To heat one. Heat two, right, heat two is the one we're using. Okay, sorry. Uh, so at 10 past 8 that turns on, it's now 6 minutes past, and, uh, to 25 but that doesn't matter, every day, 10 past 8 on, 20 past 8 p.m. that is, off, we go back to here, And we set heat. Oh, we try to. There we go. That's in heat mode. So, at ten past, this should turn on. Okay, so it's triggered. It says on here the heat. So the target is now 25 and there's a flashing arrow. So it surely, surely, surely should be outputting something and it isn't. And as a final sanity check, we'll put this in here. Yep, the light light. So I think we conclude this is faulty. So what I plan to do now is have a look inside it and see what's in there. And you never know, we might even be able to repair it. 
and I think I'll save that for another video. So for the moment, it's goodbye from Triplicate, home of interesting electronics. Uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you've got something you'd like to say. Thumbs up, perhaps. And for now, it's goodbye.